they have against the prison crystal. Afraid, overlooked, and unappreciated. That's how several correctional officers told me they feel after working at the Arizona State Prison in Yuma in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. We've hid their identities because they're afraid of losing their job for speaking out. Coronavirus continues to linger through the Arizona State Prison complex in Yuma. Since the start of the pandemic, over a thousand inmates now infected. The warden, Edwin Jensen, died this month after contracting COVID-19, though it's not clear where he got it. Reports from correctional officers within the Yuma complex claiming the numbers on the website don't accurately represent what they are seeing. There's a lot of people with running nose, coughing, probably they have fever. Because they sleep all day. You notice that. When you're doing this for a uh, long time, you notice. You know, you pay attention and you notice how they behave. But the inmates aren't the only ones struggling. Staff are reporting to work every day, claiming there's little to no PPE being offered by the administration. You ask them uh, a 95 mask, man. You, you, you just don't get it. They won't keep it to you. And for gloves, you know, you actually got to go walk around the unit and Look for, for being exposed, we're not getting paid or hazardous pay. Um, we're being cross-leveled to other units that are also infected with COVID. And we're receiving inmates back and forth amongst the units. And that's making things worse. The ADC are, are responding to these claims, saying every complex has an ample supply of PPE and is sent to units on a daily basis and as requested, along with cleaning supplies. Also, that inmates who have tested positive for COVID-19 are being isolated and quarantined. But the correctional officers we spoke with disagree. My safety is compromised at this time. We work in that environment. We work with the uh, inmates infected. It is compromised. We don't have the proper equipment. They don't want to give it to us for some reason. I, we do not understand why. Not only that, but CLs also told us about having to work more hours due to others being sick. I work with my fellow co-workers, and we try to do as much as we can. But when the sergeants or lieutenants or admins is not pushing for more staff, it feels like, we don't, they don't appreciate what we call the work we do. The ADCR website only showing a general number of correctional officers who have contracted COVID-19 through the state. Nothing specific for the Yuma complex, even though we have asked for those numbers several times. The same CLs say the administration is looking to implement 12-hour workdays to make up for staffing shortages. But still, one CO we spoke with said it's not enough, and he's ready to turn in his gear. It gets to that point, I'm just going to quit. Um, I'm not going to be exposed the correctional officers told us they could lose their jobs for speaking to us, but still took the risk because they say the conditions in the prison need a massive overhaul. We've also reached out to Governor Doug Ducey's office to see how they're working with the Department of Corrections to contain spread within the prisons. All they said was the ADCRR does report their metrics to them regularly. For more on the officers' accusations towards the prison, head over to our website. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Jimenez, News 11. Crystal, a story will continue to follow. Thanks. While well, the first phase of vaccines are already seeing great progress in Yuma County, News 11's Adonis Albright continues our coverage tonight. Several first responders in Yuma County got